students welcome back let's continue with the animations uh, in the computer graphics now let's see what how to design an animations okay designing an animation there are four steps in designing an animation sequence if you want to make any movement in the picture in an object you requires these four steps so what are those first is a storyboard layout next object definition key frame specification generation of in between frames so if you clearly read twice or thrice in these words only you will get the clear idea so what exactly it's saying if you want to design any animation you require these four steps first they are saying storyboard layout so suppose if you want to start any pay movie or if you want to start any animation what exactly you want first a storyboard is required what you are going to be do that you have to be written in a pictures okay it's just a rough diagram you need it okay so after storyboard layout the object definitions means in that what i have to be included the different objects i can include it if you want to make any a small uh, let's take a small bit of animation so in that if you want to add any objects okay so that object definitions you need to be know next key frame specifications so what is the starting point and what is the ending point the key frames so the story has to be start here and it has to be end like this suppose the person is walking so same way okay he has to move from starting position somewhere in a and he has to move to the z place from a to z he has to move so that is a key frame specification so in between how you are going to move it's a straight line or up and down or from down to up like the whatever it may be that is a generation in between the frames okay first story board layout what is a story board layout i am writing here this person wants to reach to z place so this is an object this object has to move to the z place so just takes the ball okay this ball i am throwing and another person is going to be catch okay so this ball i am throwing just throwing okay or i am just bouncing i am bouncing the ball so this ball i am bouncing so first the story layout what i am taking so here the ball has to be there the ball has to be bounce like this so first step second step third step first step second step third step fourth step finally it reaches so that is a story board layout next i am including the object definition what object so what type of ball i am using okay as it what type of color it is i am using there is object definition next is a key frame specification so how much from where i am starting and where i am ending next generations in between frames so the, this is the generation between in frames so how the ball is going to be bounce so this everything will be done by the computer okay the thing is you have to do the storyboard layout and you have to give the object definitions and the key frame specifications and bouncing everything will be given by this in between frames will automatically generated by the computer so this is an overview of this uh, designing an animation it's you require this four steps first storyboard layout object definition key frame specification generations in between frames now let's see one by one a storyboard layout okay so it's just an outline of an action so what i said what you want exactly that you have to be write in the paper just like a uh, if you take the software engineer if you want to develop any product what you are going to do your first you need the requirements that is the storyboard layout you need the requirements and you have to uh, just imagine this is the input and this is the output okay so that is a storyboard layout it's an outline of an action it defines the motion sequence as a set of basic that ought to takes place so depending on the type of animation so this remember that what type of animation you are using the cell animation or kinematics animation or computer animation or morphing so what type of animation you are using that should be dependent it's depending on the type of animation to be produced the storyboard could be consist of set of rough sketches so starting what you needed you need a set of rough sketches okay how the bounce is ball starting it takes one step another step another step so like that it's a rough sketch you need you have to be prepared or it could could be a list of basic ideas of a motion so how it is moving okay are you throwing the ball 
throwing the ball okay or you bouncing the ball okay or you bouncing the ball so that you have to be uh, decide that is a storyboard layout the basic idea motion the basic idea motion okay that deals about the storyboard layout and the next type uh, next uh, sequence is the object definition so after that what you have to take you have to decide what type of objects that you are using each object participating in the action is given object definition such as terms of basic shapes such as polygons or splines so whatever i said okay here i am taking a ball is bouncing animation so here the object participating in the action is given by object definition so what definition i am giving what term uh, terms of basic shapes i am using whether i am using the round ball okay or just i am using some square it's a it's just a stuff or i am using a polygon and what type of uh, material i am using that is a object definition so in between this i am using anything okay uh, or i am using the bat or not this is another object so that specific uh, definition also you need to be give so i am kicking with the bat or or you kicking with the shuttle uh, rocket or whatever it means uh, that you need to be give next sequence keyframe specification a keyframe is an animation and film making is drawing that defines the starting and ending points of a smooth transaction so this is remember that a keyframe specification is a starting and ending points of any smooth transitions you call it as a keyframe okay now let's see the keyframes a sequence of keyframes with movement the spectator will see but the position of the keyframes on the film defines the timing of the moment two or three can be represented for a span of a second so let's take this is a film okay these are the frames okay these are the different frames so this is a starting the starting frame i'm just a ball is there so uh, means one image is there that image is growing up okay next it is going up up and coming down and placing down so just a movement is observed here starting and ending frames so in between that some actions are performed this is an animation this is an animation okay so you call it also so in between frames also you can call these as an in between frames also and the next type of uh, next next sequence in the animation is the generation of in between frames so it is a process of generating intermediate frames between two images to give appearance that the first image evolves smoothly into the second image in between frames are drawing between the key frames which helps to create the illusion of motion so whatever i said if you are bouncing a ball the starting first image and the second image is evolved smoothly okay so in between the key frames that is a start and end in between so many frames or there there is a frames which creates an illusion so exactly what it taking in between frames creates illusion okay i hope you clearly understand what exactly the in between frames in between frames are creating illusion and the key key frames or whatever you are able to see that is start and end that is a key frames and in between frames are the create that is going to be create an animation that is a illusion of motion a film requires 24 frames per second approximately if a film requires every second at 24 frames are changing and graphic terminals are refresh at a rate of 30 to 60 frames per second let's see here how this this is a key frames the ball the ball i bounced so while it bouncing like this jumping bouncing and this is a final frame there is a key frame so these are the key frames and whatever the ball here it is movement motion is uh, movement of the object is there that you call it as a in between frames these are the in between frames generated by the computer okay so which creates illusion illusion of motion thank you